and welcome back. My name is Christina for those of you that are new here. So I've been working on my dining table for the last few days and while I'm waiting for the bottom half of it to dry, I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to show you real quick what can be done with an old cookie sheet and some spray paint. Now while I'm not using an old cookie sheet because I don't have one that I want to um, sacrifice for this project. All of mine are pretty heavy duty and a brand that I like. I did go to Walmart and I bought one since it's too late to go to the second hand store right now and I'm going to show you how you can spray paint it. So before I paint this cookie sheet I need to pick which um, handle or door pull I'm going to put on it. So I'll show you my little collection and we'll decide on something. So here is my box of uh, drawer and door pulls. And I think that will be too big. I want something that's gonna be flat against it. So that's not that style. Let's see. That's just a regular knob, that won't work. Oh, I just absolutely love these with the floor to lee on them. I think that'll be way too chunky for what I'm after as well. Um, and those are pretty. Oh, unfortunately, they don't fit on there. And those would have been really pretty. I use these a lot when we're making trays, but again, it's too, it's too big, it hangs over. So, hmm, I wonder if, what was in this? I wonder if I even have something that'll work. You know what? Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, this might actually, this might work. Because I'm going to paint them. Oh, that might actually work. It doesn't quite fit on there. But that goes there. And then this goes like that. So it's not picking it up like I wanted, but that might that might work um okay let's get this painted and then i'll see if that'll i'm gonna drill the hole no matter oh shoot because the holes would be in different spots you know what i'm gonna go for it we're gonna use these we're gonna take a chance on it drill the hole and see how it works Take this off. Make sure we don't have any sticky on it. And perfect. All right, there's where we're going to drill our holes. Now that I have a hole 
and each side. Right. So when I went to Walmart, they had like no spray paint. Um, so this is not my first choice. It's a metallic gold, which is not what I was after, but it does bond to plastics, wood, metal, and more, which is what I needed. And I did want the paint and primer. It just was not the right color, but we'll see if we can make it work. I'm going to let it dry, do a second coat if need be. It did bubble up in some spots, but that's why I said let's see how it dries. So here's the other question. If I use these knobs, do I want to leave it that color or do I want to spray paint it black? And I think I'm going to leave it it's brassy color because the brass and the gold I think will look good together so I'm not going to paint it black as originally planned so now it's another let's just wait for things to dry and then we'll go on to the next stage and I'm still waiting for everything to be done on the table so I can put it together stage it with the stuff that I'm doing from this video and then move on Okay, so the camera apparently went off. So the one side, the front side was dry. I flipped it over. I've just painted this side. We're going to let that dry. And then I'll flip it back over and put the handles on it. Okay, both sides are now dry. And so I'm going to put on my handle which I had to find smaller um, screws for it since I'm going through such a small little piece here. Um, the one that came with it was too big. Let's see if this is gonna work. Oh yeah. Oh, that's going to be pretty. That's going to be really pretty. And voila. A lovely little serving tray for the table. I had so much fun doing this project. It is one that I have done before, but I have never shared with anybody. Um, the only thing that would have made it better was if I had actually gone to the second hand store and picked up a used cookie sheet. Otherwise, um, the expense was minimal to have a customized tray for your table or coffee table or end table, um, you know, just to show off some goodies or to decorate your house for this holiday season. So again, the cookie sheet cost just under $5. The spray paint was just under $5. The knobs I got at the ReStore a couple of years ago, and I got an entire bag for, of them and paid about two bucks. And then um, the other decorations I have in here, this is a candle from Walmart, which I think is, I paid um, three or four dollars for. Both of these little knickknacks, I got at the Red Racks or Restore, local to me. And then um, 
you know me with my succulents. I just collect them wherever I go. And I just love the way that it turned out. And it looks fantastic on my refinished table. So thank you again for watching one of my upcycled videos um, or how to upcycle old things and make it something pretty. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.